Hello, it's Sarah. Long time no see, you guys. Uh, in today's video, I'm just grouting some of my rocks that I've done. They've been sitting on my desk, and today's the day. Um, and as I do that, we'll just chat a little bit. Well, I'll do the chatting. <laughs> Anywho, the first thing I want to do before I grout these is make sure that um, any of the residue or the, the silicone that got on the rock or it, any silicone that's anywhere I don't want it. So I'm going to come in and show you. This is, I've done pretty much all the other pieces. And what, what I mean is, so I can see the shine here. That's kind of telling me that there could be some silicone on the rock. So I'm just taking an old X-Acto blade and I'm just going to scrape it a little. And I do this because the grout won't adhere to the silicone. And I use silicone to grout rocks. This is it here. It's um, Supreme Silicone by GE. It's a clear... I don't, love, I don't love working with silicone. It's very sticky and gooey and it has a residue on it. Um, I've said residue a lot. Anywho, um, the reason I use it though is because I'm planning on putting these rocks outside. And that is a waterproof adhesive. So for any of my mosaics that I do that are inside, I just use Weld Bond, which is a, a white glue. Um, and it's a very strong adhesive for an inside project that isn't going to be getting wet. Um, but outside, obviously, there's cold and heat. Oh, God, the heat. I am so over it. So, like, right here, all this shine, I just want to take it off because, if I can, I just drew a little line there, and then I'll just scrape it. I'm going to try, and I've gotten better each time I've done it with, with the grouting to be as neat as possible as well. Obviously, this isn't going to be good for your X-Acto blade. That's why I said an old blade, because my good blade I don't use, I use for, you know, paper or something. I'm sure this is quite dull by now since I've been scratching it along a rock. Um, and I just do the best I can. I don't this is actually, like I said, the more I've done it, the better I've got at noticing. And um, that being said, none of them look terrible when I grout, even if the grout doesn't stick. Once I've grouted it, I can, the silicone areas will become very apparent because you can tell that, this, that the grout isn't really adhering and I can take it off then too. But just for this little video, I figured I had one more rock to do because I'd done all of the rest of them. I'm going to try and make enough of, and then specifically for rocks, I've been using um, epoxy grout. So an epoxy grout is a bind, has a binder in it. It's not just regular cement grout um, that you would use. It's got a, a different makeup to it, and so it's kind of like epoxy clay. And it, it really is just an extra hardener type thing that uh, really assures, because this is going outside, that the elements won't uh, break down. You know, cement's pretty good, though. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. And I can see some in here. There's definitely thicker pieces in here of silicone because there was there was a big gap there. So I'm I'm picturing the grout won't go down in this nook, you know, this little cranny here. Oh, I got a nice chunk out, but I think it will cover it well enough. So there'll be a layer of silicone and then the grout will go on top of it and the grout will stick to the other things around it. Maybe it won't stick to the silicone. So see, I'm not an expert, but aesthetically it'll look fine. I don't know if it'll hold as well because like I said, I just told you the silicone, the grout doesn't stick to the silicone. So let me come back up. 
we're ready. Now to, to mix this epoxy grout, and I use Spec Spectralock uh, by Laticrete, and I believe I got it from a company. I'm in New, New Jersey in the USA, and let's see, uh, this is in Canada. It's, this, it's made in Canada, but I can't remember where I ordered it from, but it's from, uh, if you Google it, I'm sure it'll come up. I'm going to put on latex gloves. These are nitrile latex. And I took classes to make these rocks with a woman named Chris Emmert. And she likes to use a very tight glove as well that doesn't wrinkle. I'm not worrying about that right now. But it definitely helps when you're trying to, because look, like that's not my finger. That's glove. <laughs> And it's like, it's harder to work with, but all I want to make sure is that while I'm mixing this epoxy, that I wear gloves, because it is a chemical reaction. So I'm just going to, this is the one I'm going to start with, my big rock, but I'm going to set it aside. And this is just a, a yogurt container. And I'm going to, like I said, I have one, two, three, four rocks. This one has two sides. But this stuff goes a long way, so I have... This is the epoxy part. It's like a creamy mixture and a liquid mixture that I have to mix together equal parts, and I do my best. I don't have a specific, I'm gonna try and just use this spoon to eyeball it, I'm an eyeballer. And then this is the color. This is called, this is the stain resist grout. I don't know, but this is black, and this is what gives it the concrete look. I think you can pick colors. So this is stinky. You know what, I'm going to start with this. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. But I think I'm going to do two spoonfuls of each. Kind of try and get it to be like a heaping teaspoon type thing. Like I said, I'm eyeballing. One. That's much more heaping, but I think that heap. Um, and then I'm going to use just a, a popsicle stick to take it off and this was just a kit that they sold the place I got it um, I forget it's called the mini kit I think but I'm saying that because it's lasted me I've made at least four or five rocks so far and it's lasted me really long so I'm just wiping it off just throwing that out grabbing a paper towel I'm going to wipe it off and then I'll grab, I'll measure the other um, part. So I'm just going to cover this up. And I mean, it's not perfect, but this is how I've been doing it. It works out. Um, uh, Chris actually measured hers. She literally had it on a scale and she would put equal parts that way. And you know me, guys, I'm a wing it girl. So let's just go. I could probably cut the tip of this to get it to come out a little faster. This is just a dollar store like ketchup bottle thing. So it's starting to leak over. That's one. Oh, it's stinky. <laughs> I should be. Alexa, turn on the craft fan. Bating. And probably two. And I'm, go I'm really not going to, I'm going to try not to use the spoon to mix it with. I don't know why. I probably could if I'm wiping it off. Just going to use this. I'm going to mix this first. Yeah, and it says like to do it in a ventilated area. I'm just in my craft room and I have a fan. Because I'm, I'm a rebel. You guys, I've been learning a lot about myself. Those of you who have ever tried 12-step recovery, um, man, I happen to go to Al-Anon. That's the, the, pro, the program I go to. Whew, man, I'm learning. This is about, I'm, I'm around like year four. I think I'm on year four. After my brother died um, of an overdose, I 
decided to go figure out <laughs> what was going on anyway and um, it's a program for us it's not for the addicts and alcoholics it's for us and so now here's the thing I'm just gonna add this little by little until it feels like enough so bear with me there's no measurement with this part you just put it in and when it gets the consistency that I want to work with so kind of like brownie batter I think like this seems a little too wet still some people I've seen some people grout with really wet grout um, now the fact is I can't make this any wetter because I'm using the epoxy part so I want to be careful when I'm adding the sand and this is gray now but it will be black and I don't really think that I need to let it um, when you mix up regular grout you let it slake they call it and I haven't that hasn't been my experience with this like once I get it to where I want it I can just start grouting one thing it's the the programs teaching me is um, you have to take risks and trying new behaviors and having a new attitude is scary and uh, because you're not used to it that's all but what I've learned in the craft room I'm I'm very uh, risk taking in the craft room you know relationships are different but I know that in the craft room this is fun I enjoy the journey in here in life I don't always enjoy the journey so it's a good analogy for me to come back into the craft room and and be willing to try and make mistakes and move on because then it shows me that I can do it out in the world too so just keep that in mind we we're really this is where my serenity is and I just want the serenity all the time not just in the craft room is what I'm saying you know what I mean so anyway so this looks really good and this will stiffen up as it dries I have a good hour now to work with it and so this is it I'm gonna try and get as many of these rocks done but I want to start with this big one and so I'm gonna put something under here so that it stays upright and what I want to try and do and I'm just gonna use my finger is really stay away from the edges at first and just try and fill the nooks and crannies and see what I'm talking about about this <laughs> the glove it's a little loose and this I might need more um, sand but I don't know I'm just gonna stick with this if I feel like I think I could probably use more sand but I'm really trying to stay only on top of it not on the edges yet until and I just flooped a little piece until I um, it gets stiffer because then yeah I think I want to add a little bit more of the um, sand it definitely is going to get stiffer as it dries but I just feel like it's really soupy right now and I I can't even really work with it it's just leaking over the sides you know what I mean so now I feel I feel like that's better um, I'd like to clean up what I put down in a way I'm just gonna keep it moving but see now it has some it's more battery that was way too liquidy boy my words battery and liquidy that doesn't make sense but you know once I put this down in all the nooks and crannies I'll go around the edge with another um, wooden I have these like 
wooden toothpicks and I can scrape up that drippy part right there but I gotta put actually I'm gonna be filling that because of my bee so I am gonna fill this because I gotta grab out my bee we'll see once it um, firms see how I just moved that that was awesome so what I'm learning about myself is I'm not afraid in the craft room because it's just me and what, whatever I'm making and you guys. I like reasoning things out with you guys. I can talk. My brain works like if I just read it in a book, it doesn't go into my brain as easily as, as well. Like I need to read it in a book, but then I also need to talk, say it out loud and then I need to do it. It's like a three-step situation for me to actually learn the lesson. And sometimes I'll just read it in a book and then it hits me and I'm like, oh yeah, I can see that. But then I don't talk about it with someone and I, and I don't do it. So it just it's just words in my head. Anyway, I'm trying to do as well as read it, you know? And it's a little scary to try these new things, but I'm sharing it with you guys because I feel like I have been on YouTube a while and you guys know me, you know my journey. Well, anyone who's new to my channel won't know, but I've shared a little bit about um, my brother's addiction he died in 2019 um, and my dad was an alcoholic he died in I want to say 05 he's been gone a long time anyway um, It's what's in my head that matters and how I treat myself. So I'm going to move over. You know what? I should probably take off some of that stuff. Um, but I think I'm just going to set this aside and go on to another one. Ooh. See, I have so much grout here. And I bet you I have a hole in my glove. I'm going to take this off. Yes, yeah, see? It's just because I don't, um, Chris Emmert, when she taught the class, she has a little grinder that she uses to grind down any, like, parts of the glass that stick up. And because she sells her pieces, she wants to make sure, like, any of this is glass. It's, it has a sharp edge to it. And depending on if you're using all the same types of glass, like that, this one specifically has taller pieces and lower pieces anyway she grinds all those sharp pieces down so that um she doesn't cut her glove <laughs> but um i just change gloves but also these are mine unless i give them away i'm not selling them at the moment so I don't have that like fear of customer satisfaction. It's only Sarah's satisfaction right now. I don't know how that comes across, but I don't want to worry about too much of the details. I'm a good enough right now. That's what I mean. So look, that's grouted. I'm pretty sure it's in the nooks and crannies of the tile. So I made too much grout. I really did. I do not need all that grout. It's a shame. I only have two more pieces to go. Well, I have all the edges. This is my little Jesus fish. Some of you might know I got, I have fish tanks now. And I could give you an update on that. Um, I'm enjoying it. And again, it's teaching me about myself. Oops. To be patient. Um, 
it, it's not something you have a lot of control over. You do what you can do, and then you let go and let God type thing, you know, let nature. And so I'm starting to try and incorporate spirituality into my thinking. I haven't always been a very spiritual person because uh, I don't like religion, formal religion. Personally, I don't. I love that some people get their serenity from that, but I didn't. I never did. And so I just was like, I kind of was angry about it, if I'm honest. I didn't understand, well, you know, I didn't understand it. Now I understand it. There was just a gap in there. That's it. I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to move on to the next one. So put in the comments anything you want, guys. If you feel lonely and frustrated about your spiritual life, about if you have problems of addiction in your family, um, I'm learning that compassion and detaching with love are huge tools for me to use because I can't fix anybody but myself. Um, and if you're just hearing these things for the first time and it sounds good to you, ow, itchy nose. 12-step um, recovery can help you. It's just the principles, it's values and principles that you can use um, to kind of guide you through whatever's on your plate, whatever's in your life, um, everything. Happiness, sadness, and everything in between. Um, I know people might have a problem with me sharing this on, on my craft channel. That's what I've heard in the comments before. Um, you know, and you're entitled, but it's my channel. Change the channel. There's plenty of other craft channels you can go to. This is my serenity. My serenity crafts. And this is what my serenity is about, so... Sorry, sorry if you don't like it, but I have to be real, authentic, um, not just trying to sell likes or get subscribers. It was exciting when I first was on here and I got subscribers and all that stuff. I loved it, but I think what I want to do now is use this platform to speak my truth and whoever wants to hear that and share with me based on it is what I'm looking for. It's more important to me because service, being of service, so I'm serving, trying to serve by sharing what I know about creating but also what I've learned through experience and um, life. Um, I'm going to change my glove again because it's so messy. And go back to rock number one and see.
I definitely want to um, wipe any grout out of the um, ball chain. Like right here, there's ball chain under that O. So let me see where I'm headed here. I also want to cover, um, uncover the butterfly, which I fully am, uh, adhered on top of tile. So it's just glued on there with silicone. Um, I'm going to continue around. And this could be wet. I could be using a dry rag. I think I'm going to get a rag, an actual t-shirt, an old t-shirt. For my next wipe but I'm just getting off the majority of uh, see how it's stiffening up I'll show you it's starting to be able to stay where I put it instead of melting over the sides we're getting there I'll show you Oh, I keep forgetting I have another one on the other side. Sticking my fingers in it. So I'm just trying to clean up the edges a little bit because I'm going to do them much neater in a second. I'll show you. So let's get this. I want to do a um, wood burning pyrography piece of a betta fish. I've really been doing a lot of uh, studying about my fish tank, you know, and betta fish are so beautiful, the males, and I don't know if they just breed them to have those big flowing tails, but man, they are gorge. I think this is the dirty napkin that I use to wipe my spoon. So I'm probably putting chemicals on here. But we're getting there. I'll be right back. I'm going to get those little um, toothpicks and I'll be right back. All right, I wanna show you how thick this is getting. So it's different now. Now I can work with it in a different way. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and clean up anywhere. All right, let me just, I'm using my fingers. Uh, where's that? I had a paper towel that I was sticking under here. These are those little, I don't even, I'm not going to go in because I'll lose it. So I'm going to push, you know what though? I need to, uh, put some over the B. So I'm just reaching in with my finger. Now I'm going to put it all along the um, ball chain and make sure I cover my B wings. I have to get it on this ball chain, so I'm going to go kind of just pushing up against the side of it and setting the 
grout down and I'm going to put it on the inside. Maybe I'll just cover that little swirl. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was going to put grout all throughout this, but we'll see how it goes. I have time still to take it off, to push it where I want it, but I have to get it on there first. Make sure it's up against so over here, we also, we went to the Van Gogh Experience. It's in Atlantic City right now. I live in South Jersey, and it was really nice. I knew nothing about Van Gogh beforehand, only his starry night. <laughs> That's like the only thing I really knew about him and uh, actually Benedict Cumberbatch played him in a very cool movie but the movie isn't easy to get like it's on a streaming service I did it but you had to sign up for a 30 day like whatever thing anyway see like right here I'm running into trouble because I want the grout to stay up against the bee wings and I keep pulling it away anywho um, he only lived, I think he was only 38 when he died. It's crazy to me. <sighs> anyway, um, you know, back then, and I want to say, what was the dates? Uh, very early 1900s and 18, late 18, I think. I'll, I'll correct myself. I have it on my phone. Uh, I took a picture. But anyway, you used to get sick and die from diseases back then, even syphilis. A lot of people got syphilis and died. So <laughs> a lot of things weren't curable the way they are now. So anyway, he did die of a gunshot wound that supposedly was self-inflicted. Uh, he struggled. I think he was bipolar. And, you know, the story of him cutting off his ear. Um... He, he had definite highs and lows. He checked himself into a sanitarium back then, you know, it was like a, that was all they had for mentally ill people. Anywho, it was, but the, the um, experience itself was so calm and, and interesting. I found it very um, pleasant. <laughs> Nothing about, you know, I mean, and sad, I mean, Whenever I find that someone died so young, that had so much promise, and he only got famous at the end of his life, um, you know, kind of tragic, really, right? Um, I know this looks like a mess, you guys, and it, it really is, <laughs> but, oops, it's kind of... I feel good about it. I think I'm going to get there. I'm just going to keep going. Don't give up. And what I'm doing is just pushing the grout up against the ball chain. Because I outlined these letters in just a, I want to say it's a number six ball chain. I have two different ones. I have two different sizes on a spool that I ordered from. Amazon. Again, I just try, like when I see someone has ball chain, I just Google it. I always Google it and just do what I think and then, you know, try it. Um, and that's what Van Gogh did too. He couldn't afford to have a model, so he did a lot of self-portraits. Um, lots of sketching his surroundings. So in the south of France, he uh, did a lot of countryside scenes, you know, and the people that he saw in everyday life. All right, I think I've managed to cover... Whoop. 
everything. Maybe not right here. I still have tons of grout left, so I'm not really. But see how it's starting to get more stiff? Um, maybe you can't, but I can. All right, I'm going to move. I'm just putting this up so I don't. But I'm going to move on to the next rock and do the same thing all around the outside edges. I haven't done this in a while and I think there's definitely a finesse to it and the more you do it the better you get you know or you just I don't I overthink things that's another thing I am they say that families and friends of alcoholics and addicts they have the disease of drinking I have the disease of thinking <laughs> and I overthink things and I have self-doubt and I have negative self-talk uh, which is not good at all but I'm working on it and you can't change what you don't acknowledge so at least I am accepting myself as I am then I can do something about it See, look, see this one? That ball chain is just naked, so I'm going to cover it, and I'm just going to push the grout up around the outside edge of the ball chain. So I'll be back um, in a minute when I'm cleaning everything up because I still have to do this around a few other things. I'll be right back. I'm just going to finish off one of them so that you get the point. So I've gone around all of them and they're very messy at the moment but let's clean this one up so you can see. So now I've gone to a dry rag. This is actually a t an old t-shirt. I think I want to use, um, no, I don't. I forget how I did it, but I need a little water, I think. Um, I have some right here. I'm just going to squirt. And make this damp. I see some silicone there. I see silicone. It's a messy business, this grouting, but it will be fine. Just be patient. You want to get it off any of the pretty pieces, you know. So I think that's good. Now I'm going to take See, it feels like I could have a little more grout right here. But if I smooth it out with my finger, see how it's smoothing now? I 
couldn't have done that earlier. See, there's silicone. I'll come back and get it. I think there's some silicone there, too. I feel like I need a little more grout. Nope, nope, I smoothed it. And then there's silicone right here. So let me get, uh, where did I put my, see if I can just get it with, I'm going to let it dry and I'll get it when it dries because I don't want to, um, mess up the, uh, the nice edging that I did. So see, don't look at the rock part, the black part, but look at that gray kind of just the ball chain is just peeping out from a nice connector to the rock. So that's the idea. I'm just going to see if I can use a butt wipe to clean off the rock a little better. Like this part right here is a little tricky. I don't want to push away the grout. I just want to push it up to it. There we go. So you kind of can go around like that and just push. That's an idea. I like that. Push it up to it. And then I'll take my finger and just smooth it again. Because this is all grout here. And there's, that's, look, that's silicone right there. I can't, I'm not going to zoom into it, but I'll get that off. It's just sticking out. So, that's it, you guys. Oh, I hope you're able to keep cool. This has been a very hot summer. Not my favorite, to be honest with you. Um, we are very blessed and very, I am very grateful that we have air conditioning. Everyone is doing well at the moment. We're all well and healthy. And so today I'm grateful. I hope you enjoy this video. And as always, thank you all so much for watching.